Is this Bourjois V 400 watt panel perfect? I mean, it's pretty close. What up, I'm I from Ask I've Solar. And ever since I started doing this thing, I've had like one dream of having one big panel per power station. Now that was back when I had like three power stations. <laughs> now I have a good 20, but it's still a good look to have one panel paired up with a power station that could just bang out. And that's where this Bouge RV comes in. This is the Bouge RV 400 watt 10 bus bar panel that has split cells. We'll talk about that in a second. But I love this form factor. I have always wanted something that was about the same size as many of my other panels, but with more output. But because I very rarely find this style of panel with this type of output, I had to settle for these, which are 300s and 290s. These are 67 inch panels by about 40. I have no desire to be exact in this, but look at the size difference between a 400 watt panel and a 320. I think this is a 300. Before I get to why that's interesting, let's talk about a few of the specs here. This is 68 inches by about 41. It is a 37 volt open circuit panel. Um, I guess I could show you some stuff on the back. 37.7 volts open circuit, 13.79 amps, which we'll talk about that in a little bit too, why that's really good for most power stations. It is in a nice, crispy, all black finish. It has a split junction box design where the leads are on opposite sides of the panel instead of up at the top, kind of snaking down the panel. So you have a little bit, I mean, you know, six one way, half a dozen another. I don't know if that's super beneficial to most people. This 10 bus bar situation, as I understand it, I am not the most savvy person as it relates to this. It just allows for less space for the power to have to travel across the bus bar. So they're closer together. It helps with efficiency. They say it has a 23% efficiency, which is pretty standard. We typically see things around 23%, 22%, 21%. As that efficiency goes up, the size gets to be more comparable to its predecessor. <laughs> Whereas like you look over here, this is a five bus bar panel. Now with all technology, things are progressing and getting better. I have 290 watt panels. I have a couple of 300 watt panels, but they typically kind of sit all in this footprint of 66 inches by about 40 inches, which is really easy to handle or easier to handle for this size panel. Now, this is my point about how handling it is relatively easy and it's relatively light. It's about a what? 40, 45 watt panel. I could easily grab this up, walk it around. It's not no cakewalk, but it's not super heavy either. Now, one of my dilemmas has always been, there are always these 250 watt panels on sale from like Signature Solar, I'm sorry, Santan Solar. Um, and I didn't want to go as big as those panels for so little output because 250 watts realistically will only put out about 210 maybe 200. And for this size panel, I'm like, I, I, I got these 200 watts over here. Now they put nowhere near 200 watts out. Jumping up from a 200 watt to a 250 watt for the size difference is crazy to me to go from something like this to something like that for only a difference of about 50 watts. And I've always been a big fan of efficiency for the space. As you can see, I don't have a lot of space back here in my yard. So having something like this, which can give me 400 watts in about the same form factor as a 290 and a 300 is excellent. On the size, I have tried to line this up pretty good down here and you can see just how much bigger it is. And it's not much than this uh, Hyundai 300 watt panel. It's gonna be a little bit wider and a little bit taller. One thing you need to be mindful of that you shouldn't really care about, but I thought I'd bring it to your attention is these black panels, they scratch really easily. That's a big <laughs> thing for me, leaning them up against whatever I can. <laughs> I also noticed this when I first got my first large panel that was kind of like this black color. These panels don't do this as much, but you can see these smudges on here. I had that with my first large 320. And when you grab the panel up, it happens right here. I don't notice that to have an impact on power output greatly. 
I wipe the panels down every now and then with just a wet paper towel just to clean them up. I don't do much other than that. But cleaning panels very rarely results in much more power from a single panel, in my opinion. Every time I've tested this, if it was getting X amount of watts, it went up maybe like three or four watts. So I don't, I don't care. We also have to do some output test with a panel like this being 400 watts on an overcast but not so bright day, you can expect about 10%. I don't know about y'all, but I have very humble solar beginnings. So to get 40 watts when the sun is not even out is a good look for me. That can run some of my very like core conveniences like internet and a TV, maybe. And <laughs> kind of pushing it with a TV, I could run a little monitor. But I, I think that that's dope in this form factor. But let's look at some real solar output tests. These are the conditions right now. You can see the sun is behind um, some clouds, but it's shining brightly. It's not angled directly this may be an outlier example but in overcast days your sky is like relatively flat so the power is coming down directly from the sky i'm sorry put my hand all in the camera remember i said you could get about 10 percent from this joint so let's see if it makes me a liar here we have the um pecron which i had to switch it to because i don't want to impair the panel's ability to perform by having it hooked into the eb120 so you can see the Pecron is getting about 42 watts in. Now, if you think about most of our big portable power stations, they typically have about 150 volts input and about 15 amps. Now, something like this, getting you about 325 watts in a 40 volt, I'm just gonna round up, it's 37 volts, like 36 volts realistically once you put it on a load, but getting about 40 volts, 300 watts, and 13, 12 amps, you're really beginning to get right at the edge of what you could do with a single panel and get a decent amount of power into your power station. All right, the sun is at a good angle right now, at least good for this situation. Let's do a little improvised angle test here that is not great. <laughs> so what do I have to do? Go up a little more. So let me try and adjust it. Let me show you what it's getting right now, though. Let's look at that. Angle of the sun, just FYI. Oh, it just went down. <laughs> it was at like 3.30 something. Dang it. So it was probably 3.30. <laughs> I had to unhook it from the EB120 because I think that 10 amp max on the EB120 was impairing it. But this does not have that low of a amp limit. I don't know what it is, though. Shoot, my bad. Okay, now it's going back up. 300, whatever. Let me see if I, we can angle it. Kind of see why the uh, output went down so much. But I have angled this a lot better. It's not perfect, but it'll give us something. Yeah, it's just a little slight overhang right there at the edge of my shadow. So that particular output of sun is not great. It's getting 139 now, but I think the angle is good. So we're just gonna have to keep an eye on it and come back when the sun is out. So the sun sabotaged my last test. So this is a the next day. Let's uh, get some angle calibration here as best we can. <clears throat> you can see that that angle is still a bit off. So the sun is still kind of over there, but let's look and see what kind of power output we're getting right there. Cause we don't always have ideal situations, right? So this is what we're seeing. We're seeing 275. I want to get this angle a little bit better. I'm going to have to try hard. It's just me, but I'm going to try. What I realize is I'm going to just have to wait. I'm going to have to be patient. So I don't have to try and turn the panel towards the sun because the angle is actually pretty good. You can even see back here, like the shadow is off by a little bit, denoting that the sun is kind of over here where it is. Now, one thing I noticed, shout out to Bouge RV for sending the panel, but y'all should have sent me a power station too. Cause I'm wondering if I'm being, if I'm experiencing the limitations of this power station that I'm trying to get 400 watts into. But we gonna make it work, you feel me? The sun is a little bit better aligned, but it's uh, it got a little haze over it. So we gonna, we gonna do what we can here. So we gonna drop our, you know what I mean? And if we see right there, that's pretty good. I think I could raise that up just a little bit to get it better. All right, I'm gonna put this on here ever so gently. All right, boom, good money. That's a good look right there. This has been out in the sun all day, so it's hot and all that jazz. Let's go look at some numbers. Now this for me has not gotten any better. I'm looking at 275. 
and I have seen higher than 300 on here, about 333, 335. Little bonus footage. So this is getting 262 real quickly because this does need to be returned. I'm gonna unplug and plug it into the EB120. And as you can see, for a little bit of control, the EB120 is getting 271. So about four or five watts off. So it's a good rating for me. I think this panel is bordering on perfect for most people that just have a single panel that you can deploy out in your yard. You can move around and chase the sun. That's very important. And then you have a good amount of power coming in and you don't have to compromise with trying to have like two 250s in parallel or series or two 200s in parallel or series. These panels are fantastic to me. The Bruge RV is not the only one that makes a 400 watt panel, but they're pretty much one of the first ones to bring a 400 watt panel to the market where you can buy a single panel for a somewhat affordable price. We have to cut them some slack because <laughs> shipping on these big panels plays a big part in it not being quite at a dollar per watt. There's gonna be a coupon code down in the um, joint. So, you know what I mean? When it expires, it expires. But watch out for sales. I think this panel is dope. Y'all let me know what y'all think is I've... Uh...